Hello! Happy Monday! We're back! Here we are! Happy Monday to you! Monday, May 18th, 2020! Just two more weeks of school. I am gonna just start reading some of my favorite stories that I have, favorite stories in the whole wide world. Today I'm gonna read this one. It's called My Friend Bear. My Friend Bear. Did you ever think you'd have a friend who is also a bear? Well, you don't have to wonder because that's what's gonna happen in this book. The author is Jez Albro. And once again, the book is called My Friend Bear. And it's a rhyming story. Oh, I love this story so much. My Friend Bear. Here we go, there's the title page. Here's a giant bear holding a little bear. That's interesting. Eddie's walking with his teddy. Eddie's teddy's name is Freddy. Oh, Freddy, said Eddie with a great big sigh. I feel sad and I don't know why. Freddy said nothing. Eddie sighed again. I wish you could talk, he said. And then, so the boy's name is Eddie and his uh, Teddy's name is Freddy. That's complicated. Obviously, Freddy didn't say anything. He's a bear. Wow, look at that up there on that stone. A giant Teddy all on his own. We've seen him before. He belongs to the bear who lives around these woods somewhere. Suddenly, something made Eddie turn around. A snuffling, scuffling, bear sort of sound. <gasps> a great big voice whined, Where's my teddy? He's coming, he's coming, quick, let's hide, cried Eddie. So, big bear on his way, and that belongs to the big bear. He has his own teddy bear. The great big bear came shuffling by, then stopped with a sniff and started to cry. Oh, Teddy, he whimpered. What can I do? I've got no friends apart from you, and you can't talk, and you don't care. I'm such a sad and lonely bear. <laughs> so he's sad. There he is. I don't know if you could see that before. He's sad. He doesn't have any friends. He has the big bear friend. And look at, oh, look at Eddie and Freddy hiding behind big bear's teddy. Oh, I forgot this line. Then, just as he brushed a tear from his eye, a little voice whispered, please don't cry. I'm all on my own, just like you with no one to talk to and nothing to do. I'm a little bit lonely too, you see. If you want, you can talk to me. The bear couldn't believe his ears. He gulped and, and sniffed and wiped his tears. You can talk after all, he cried. I forgot about my bear voice. You can talk after all, he cried. But we know, we know it's Eddie all along. Of course I can talk, the voice replied. The bear came closer and scratched his head. Why didn't you talk before, he said. Because I'm scared, said the voice, and small and shy, and when you're a great big bear, that's why. Well, that makes sense. So the bear's thinking that his teddy is talking to him, but it's really Eddie I don't see this ending well. There, there, said the bear. You are in a muddle. What you need is a great big cuddle. No, I don't, shrieked the voice. Yes, you do, said the bear. You just need some loving care. Don't be scared, you're my teddy. No, I'm not, cried the voice. So he's lifting up his bear and he's about to see who made the voice all along? It's me, Eddie. Look at this page. Everything is just frozen. What, how will the bear react? How would you react if you were a bear and you thought your bear was talking the whole time? He threw him up in the air because he was so scared by the, oh, it's a boy. 
The bear stared at Eddie and clung to his teddy. Eddie stared back and hung on to Freddy. What will happen? It's like a standoff. Tumbleweed comes floating by. Suddenly, Eddie started to grin. He felt a chuckle rise up from within. He tried to stop it, but it wouldn't stay down. What's so funny? Asked the bear with a frown. It's you, giggled Eddie. It's you standing there. You're such a great big silly bear. No, I'm not, said the bear. Yes, you are, said Eddie, yelped Eddie. You thought you had a talking teddy. So he's, he's really, he, thought, he thinks it's pretty funny. That's probably not a good idea, though, to make a bear upset, but it is pretty funny. Then the bear began to snigger, and a smile on his face grew bigger and bigger. His great big belly wiggled and jiggled. I am a silly bear, he giggled. A talking teddy. I thought it was true, but all along it was really you. You can tell this one, one of my favorite stories because I know, kind of know it off by heart a little bit. The bear held out his giant-sized teddy, crouched down by, behind it and said, Hello, Eddie. I'm a talking teddy. Listen to me. Aren't I clever? I'm only three. Then Eddie wanted to have a go. He held up his teddy and squeaked, Hello, my name's Freddy. How do you do? I can talk and I'm only two. <laughs> oh, they're having a good time. They laughed and they laughed till their tummies were sore. Then they looked at each other and they laughed some more. The bear started dancing and singing a song and he made up the words as he wobbled along. I'm silly, he sang, and I don't care. I'm such a great big silly bear. Then Eddie wanted to have a go. Wahoo, sang Eddie, I'm as silly as you, and your Teddy and Freddy are silly too. All afternoon they played in the sun, seeing just who was the silliest one. Here we go, almost done, coming up with my favorite part. When the sun began to set in the sky, they knew it was time to say goodbye. We're friends, said Eddie. The bear said, who? You know, said Eddie, me and you. The bear lifted Eddie up for a hug, hairy and berry and safe and snug. Take care, he said. Look after Freddy. We'll come back soon, whispered Eddie. Then off they walked with a smile and a wave, back to a house and back to a cave. Do you think they're lonely? Not anymore. That's what having friends is for. See you tomorrow, friend. Bye.